Hey YouTube world, this is Nate, the new Hydro Guy, and I'm excited because I'm creating my first YouTube video right now. So pretty much the past couple of weeks, I've become fascinated with hydroponics vegetables and herbs, and through a bunch of research on YouTube and the internet itself, I've come up with this idea of starting to grow lettuce and herbs hydroponically. And this is my first attempt at it. This is just a simple two inch propagation table. Um, I'm pretty much doing this just to get my feet wet and to see if hydroponics is something that I want to continue with. We are trying to eat more healthy and organically and steer away from processed foods and this would be a good way to supplement food here and there and you know a nice little hobby. Um, I grew up on a farm so farming is in my blood. Uh, traditional soil farming using lots of water to irrigate and lots of diesel fuel to harvest the food and I'm not a, I'm not a green hippie kind of guy but the whole hydroponic thing makes a lot of sense to me as far as conserving water and not letting all you know the fumes from the diesel go into the air and just tearing apart the tearing apart the land essentially and you know it's it's just something that's piqued my interest and I want to share my journey through hydroponics with you and let you watch me make mistakes along the way and hopefully get some feedback from you guys so I don't make some mistakes and you guys learn from my mistakes. So here's a little overview of what I built for my first test table. Um, <clears throat> I started the seeds seven days ago in these root riot cubes. Uh, I pretty much just put it in front of the windowsill and watered every other day and within two days they were completely out of the soil and within four days there was roots coming out of the bottom of them. Um, I have the pump off right now just because it's a little loud for video purposes but it is working quite nicely. Um, I don't know if you can see this cube. We got the roots coming out of the bottom of it and we'll just pick another random one. Oh, look at those roots are already. Seven days. Blowing me away. I can't believe it. So I decided to start with three different kinds of lettuce and one kind of basil. So I have Adriana, Red Cross, Green Butterhead, and just some regular old fashioned basil. It seems to be a little bit behind um, compared to the lettuce, but the packets of seeds said that the basil will take quite a bit longer to grow. Um, <clears throat> speaking of the seeds, I went with seeds from Johnny's Selected Seeds. Um, every seed I planted did germinate and did sprout, so that's a good sign. And as far as nutrients, I went with General Organics to stay organic. I have BioThrive plant, flu or plant food, CalMag, and BioRoot. And from what I've learned, the BioRoot just helps the plant establish a good root mass and to take in all those nutrients, water, and oxygen. Um, as far as the table or stand, I just purchased some cheap lumber from Lowe's and used a borrowed hacksaw from my grandfather's workshop and um, just some two inch PVC that I used a one and a half inch hole saw to drill the holes. Um, one lesson I already learned is to use a chalk line so it's dead straight and you get it spaced well and it's not all uneven up and down as you can see. Um, I do have another pipe down here that in the next day or two I will be making nice and straight and changing out. Um, <clears throat> I just have a cap at the end of the 2 inch tube and a rubber grommet that has a drain tube connected to it and that goes into the reservoir. Um, the nice thing about the rubber grommet is that it allows you to adjust the height of the drain tube inside the pump and helps you control the water level. And as the roots grow, I will definitely bring that tube down and drop the water level a little bit. I also purchased a standard run-of-the-mill storage container from Lowe's and that's what I have my water in along with the pump. Um, 
I purchased a 198 gallon per hour pump from the local hydroponics store. I don't think it's quite enough and when I upgrade this table I'm definitely going to get a bigger pump. The line feeds up to the beginning part of the pipe. Nutrients run past the roots of the lettuce. The lettuce absorbs it and drains back into the tank. Um, a few things that I do need to do um, is get a air stone to properly or put enough oxygen back into the water for the plants from what I've been reading and told they need as much oxygen as you can get and when I redesign this table if I decide to move forward I'm either going to go with um, a T5 4x4 foot ballast a T8 4x4 foot 4x4 four four foot ballast or some sort of LED. Uh, the LEDs are very expensive but the energy savings are well worth it. I'm just trying to decide what we want to do to conserve on money and whatnot. But this, like I said, this is just my test table. We're in the works of building a more structurally sound test table and hopefully in a week or two we'll be able to get these plants out and into our main grow table which will be built with 4x4s and 2x4s and have better lighting. So like I said before, just subscribe to our channel, The New Hydro Guy, and follow our process. Um, I plan on doing an update every two to three days just to show what's going on, whether it's good or bad. So subscribe, like us, and feel free to leave us any kind of feedback if you see them doing something wrong or you have a suggestion or a favorite light that you like to use or a favorite product um, please let me know so until two to three days from now youtube world uh have a good weekend